Step five appears to be the Y axis. So we're gonna need number six. Number six. Or maybe, I'm sorry, this is the X, it can't be the Y axis. The Y axis is here. This is the X axis. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions to the best of our ability here. Number 18 is, so let's see if these things are any different. They are. All right. So how do I know which one's 18? 18 is the one with one, two, three, four, five, six holes in it. Correct? The other one has four holes in it. And I'm going to peek ahead really, really quick. Yep. Okay. Number eight. 18, sorry. Has six holes in it. Aluminum extrusion with six holes in it. Number six. Part number six is the one with two motors already mounted on it and a lot of the hardware there. What's really cool is they actually did a lot of this for you. That's, that's really neat. I don't have to go figure out a lot more things. So we're going to need M4 by 16. M4 by 16s. Here we go. So we're going to get these bolts. So we're going to get two M4 by 16 bolts and it appears we need to get, what is this part? Is there a name for this thing? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe there is. Two pieces. Okay, there's, here's the nozzle. That's really neat. Okay. All right, lost my spot. So we have this extruder tube mount. That's basically what I'm looking at right here on this step five. So they're telling me to hold this guy, girl, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Thing, how about this thing, this part, this piece. And this is going to have to go into trying to orient this thing the right way that they have it. And I don't think I'm getting it like this. Oh yeah, there we go. So basically, if you look at this motor on top, the motor cable that fits in here, it's the way I'm holding it. The extruder motor appears to be on the bottom. This thing actually says back. So I don't know as far as this picture. In the end, I have no idea which way this thing's gonna go. Okay, so they're telling me to do what? I'm not quite sure what they're trying to tell me here. Green piece, what's a green, green piece? I don't see a green piece. Okay. Or is green just pointing to, I see. So green just basically means it's not necessarily the piece. I have no idea where this is gonna go. It goes here. Okay. So this extruder, so this is the extruder on this machine. And you have the plunger, spring arm, whatever you want to call it. I'm just used to, to call it plunger. And this is where the tube's actually going to fit in. And there is a fitting here that you're going to have to turn. Now I'm just going to hand tighten it for now, just to be safe. And it also, I need two M by 16 bolts. And which way does this go? Let's see here. Okay. Is that correct? So these bolts, oh yeah. So here's what's really neat. So if you notice, they've already pre-drilled some holes to match and they also dug out some section of this aluminum extrusion for this nut where it's gonna sit. So that kind of gives me an idea. So let's see if I'm gonna have to go in with the bolts there. Let's see if they fit. Nope. So I was almost right. So what you have to look for here the bolts that match plus this cutout is going to go on this side. So that way when you slide this part on here, and I think I probably should have put this here first. Is that right? Because they're actually doing that. Yeah, okay. So this is going to, uh-oh, lost a bolt. 
It's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see. This is this is actually a lot tricky, not just a little tricky. All right, let me slide this out of the way because I need some more table space. Let's see. We're going to slide that there. So this seems to be a little tricky here. Let's see. Not quite sure. Okay, so I was I was right. So the bolts to mount this go inside here. This is going to be pretty hard to see. I, I, I think I'll have a better time showing you with the manual. This part is what I'm trying to do. Step five. See that? I'm going to get these as much as I can with my hand first because some of the problems when you're doing in tight spaces, when you're working with bolts like this, you can barely get your fingers in. The tools don't have a whole lot of room either. And your finger is a lot more flexible. And if you have smaller hands, you know, like kids putting these things together, you know, it can really help because they can get their hands in there and help you. That's probably what I should have done. Probably should have got some students to help me put this together, but they're out of school right now. So let's see. All right, so once I have those somewhat hand tight, I am going to reach in there with this Allen wrench and I'm going to tighten one almost all the way. So here's a tip that I just figured out as I was struggling with this. There's some holes and this is awesome and I wish this would have been in instructions, but it is okay. Should have been me to kind of figure out if they would have put the tool in instructions, kind of pointing to it, I would have kind of figured it out. But you can actually put the Allen wrench in here and tighten them, and that would have probably saved me about five minutes of trouble. But that's okay. I just didn't pay attention enough. I'm just trying to rush, trying to get this. I'm used to doing it a certain way. But what's really cool is you just insert those in there and check it out. They go in there very quick. So, and they're tight. There we go. So that 